Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another episode of Rank Wednesday. This is the tenth episode of Rank Wednesday. Yes, uh, today is Rank Wednesday number ten, and this is the tenth <coughs> Rank Wednesday, of course. And uh, man, I know it's been a long time since I uh, since I did one with my actual voice. Oh, huh? like I've just been doing, you know. Ranking these movies of Christopher Nolan, ranking the songs of these albums, and I didn't need my voice at all. <laughs> but um, we're finally back on a um a uh sorry uh an, an actual like Rank Wednesday when I actually use my voice to talk. Um, yeah. Again, this is a Rank Wednesday number ten. Today is September twenty ninth, twenty twenty one, and uh. Yeah, um, my streak of having, uh, uploaded a video, at least one video every single day since August 1st, uh, continues. <laughs> so, yeah, this is on something I didn't even consider until I literally just thought about it, like, maybe last night or maybe when I woke up a couple hours ago. Um, or maybe, like, one hour ago. You know what I mean? This is my ranking of every, um... Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor match. Yep, ranking all four of their matches, two of which have happened just this month, actually, uh, which is pretty cool to think about. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool to do this, so, yeah. Um, now, uh, let me see uh, uh, when the... Um, sorry. All right. Um, so yeah, um, there's four matches between Roman Reigns and Finn Balor, and I'm going to rank every single one of them now, so only four of them, so without further ado, let's, uh, get the show on the road. Now, number four, remember there are four matches, so four, the weakest match of theirs, I'm going to go with, uh, a match that I literally just watched for the first time, like just now actually, um, for the Universal Championship on SmackDown, September 3rd, 2021. Uh, this was a fun-ass match. I had a blast watching this match. It was really short, though, but, you know, didn't make it any less fun. It was a really fun match to watch. And uh, I, I had a blast watching it, even though it, was, it wasn't even 10 minutes. But I still had a uh, blast watching this match. So, yeah. And number three, I'm actually going to go with the Universal Championship match from Raw, August 20th, 2018. Uh, this is another match that I rewatched just now, and um, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, I've, this is like, this is actually just like the third time I watched this match. And the first two times, I honestly couldn't really get into this match that much. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't as into it. Even now... Now was like the when I watched it just now. This this was by far my best experience watching the match, um, but I still don't think it's like oh my gosh amazing. But it's still a awesome match, you know. Um, but uh, if if I was watching it live, I if I had watched this match live when it happened back in twenty eighteen, which I didn't, of course, I feel I I could definitely see me like enjoying it a lot more. I could definitely have seen myself being like, holy crap, Finn Balor is actually about to win and all that stuff. And like, yeah, but being that I only watched it like many years after that, you know what I mean? Still an awesome match, and uh, I actually like if you were to tell me to rank this before I watched it, like just now. Um, I probably would have had this at the last, I probably would have had this the weakest, but, again, still a great match, it's a great match, okay, and number two, I'm gonna go with, uh, the match that they had on Raw, again, another match on Raw, uh, July 25th, 2016, which was actually Finn Balor's 35th birthday, um, this match was awesome, I actually watched this match live when it happened, uh, and like, cause um, I actually what I actually got found a live stream at the time when this match happened, and I actually did watch this match live when it happened on on TV. Um, and it was an awesome match. This match was a blast. I just thought 
their chemistry really shined here. Um, I thought this was an awesome match. It was a lot of fun, and Finn Balor actually did win um, to go on to face Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, of course, in a match that should have main evented that year's SummerSlam, by the way, like for real. Uh, the first and only time that Finn Balor won against Roman. <laughs> so, yeah. And number one, this match literally happened three days ago. <laughs> I'm going to go with Finn, Re Roman Reigns versus the Demon Finn Balor in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE Universal Championship at Extreme Rules 2021. Yes, it happened just three days ago, and yes, it had a pretty crappy ending, but I don't care. This match was like everything I wanted it to be. I had so much fun watching this match. They just did everything to each other, man. Um, I could see them like building up on that ending, actually. like It turned out that uh, somebody had... Uh, had like purposefully messed with the ropes or something like that. I could see that manifesting into like its own little story. And people saying that this was worse than the freaking um revolution pyro botch. Uh just a bunch of neck beards. Seriously. Just a bunch of neck beards. But um yeah. Easily number one. Uh I believe this is every single one of the matches, at least that aired on freaking like actually were televised and aired, you know what I mean? Um, obviously this wouldn't include house show matches or some shit like that. But, um, yeah. That's your boys ranking. Rank Wednesday number 10. Final Rank Wednesday of September 2021. Um, and yeah. Um. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um. And, uh. What do you think of my ranking? Do you agree with my ranking? Do you disagree? Uh, do you think um, I'm wrong about something? Uh, please let me know. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, peace out, y'all.